first thing is take the risers out of here. The Aitzer came with regular mounting feet and then these taller ones, these taller ones that you can um, use with the rotary attachment. So what I did is I just put the rotary ones on because I knew that I was going to want it tall. I can always make my workpiece taller, but I can't lower the whole thing. And then on one of my honeycombs, I just screwed the feet that came with the laser onto that. So that raises my honeycomb up a little bit. And then that gives me, hopefully, enough height adjustment to work with. So this is the piece that we're going to put the logo on the bottom. I turned this one one of my last videos. And because it's got a natural edge, it's not going to lay flat. So what I'm going to try, I've got just a piece of, so I'm going to put that down and, and then I have some spare coasters that I had some problems with when I was burning them. So those should be nice and soft for the bottom of this thing. Let's see, is that going to get us high enough? Yeah. All right. So that seems like that's going to be tall enough. Let's just make sure. Get it close to being level. Now, and then what I've been doing for the circular things is sending laser to the 200, 200 position and then repositioning this underneath it, which I can still do here. I'm firing the laser. Put that on my center dot. Okay. And then turn the fire off. And then I'm just setting that position as the origin because I moved it some. Now I'm going to refocus. I like it. So now, Now the 2023 really got hung up in that bit of funky grain, but that's all right. And it also needs to be sanded still. So one of the things that I do if I'm doing something that is precise or if I'm going to do like a batch order of coasters or something is I will put down a piece of cardboard or um, I've got mat board scraps from uh, Marie's, you know, the insides when she cuts the mats for her artwork and prints and stuff. Um, so sometimes I use that. These were, these are the circles that I cut out when I made a template 
for burning the cork posters. So then you just pop them in there and that's, that's what that came out of. So I save all of that stuff. Um, so for right now, I'm gonna focus on the cardboard. And I'm getting ready to engrave something on this little piece of acrylic, like keychain thing that they sent along with this test material. But I want it to be relatively precise. So I'm gonna cut out of that piece of cardboard the outside, the outline of this. And then I can drop this in there and without changing anything in Lightburn, it will go exactly where I want it to. So I'll, sh I'll show you how that works. Now we're gonna cut it. I moved this back 50 millimeters and I am gonna now replace And I shouldn't have to mess with the focus because it's the same thickness there. So now I'm going to go 50 millimeters back and we should be exactly where we were before. Just makes it easier to get at the thing without knocking your template out of place, which I do more frequently than I would like to admit. According to Aitzer, 3,000 millimeters a minute and 25% is what you want for engraving the black acrylic. So let's see how that goes. Frame it just to make sure. There's part of me that really likes how low the focus on this is. And then there's part of me that it's frustrating because it kind of wants to knock over the hold down pins um, and if you have, you know, a little bit of a lip, like on the bottom of the bowl, if I put a ring on it, sometimes that becomes a little bit of an issue. You just have to be a little bit more creative. We'll see how well I did lining up where the hole is. This is why I do it in an enclosure, because probably it's not good to be breathing all that garbage. I'm going to close that right back up. Vent all that stink outside. Stink go outside. Like acrylic. Wash the paint off and get some after picks. What we're going to do now is try cutting out a cell phone holder with a design by Jen Bodwin of Needle and Knife Studio. So I'm going to get that rolling here. I've already framed it. I'm getting my safety glasses on. Um, all right, so I think I set this to engrave first. And I'm not sure if this is going to be dark enough or not.
All right, smoke has cleared. Let's see. I'm just gonna scooch this back. I can't not get at it. All right. Look, I know it cut through. These are indeed coming out. Probably 220. Just, it actually did a really nice job and didn't burn much. Um, you can kind of tell where there are some different densities in the wood, whether it's the glue that they're using for the plywood or whatever. These, hopefully, oh yeah, they're good. And then, um, well, my phone has the microphone thing coming off the bottom, which is bigger than the charger, which is what this is for. Let's say your charger can go through it, but. And then this is, I think the hole back here is either so that you can put your charger down through there if it doesn't make, go through this side or just to make it easier to pick up. So there. And then obviously they just pull apart and can play flat. So that turned out really well. I like this a lot. Really good.